வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு திஸ் கிளாஸ் ஆன் பயோ மெக்கானிக்ஸ் லெட் எஸ் கண்டினியூ அவர் டிஸ்கஷன் ஆன் பேசிக் மெக்கானிக்ஸ் ஆன் ஸ்டாட்டிக்ஸ் அண்ட் டைனமிக்ஸ் ஸ்பெசிஃபிகலி ஸ்டாட்டிக்ஸ் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வில் பி ஃபோக்கஸிங் ஆன் எக்ஸாம்பிள்ஸ் ஆஃப் லிவர்ஸ் இன் த ஹியூமன் மஸ்குலோஸ்கல்டல் சிஸ்டம் வாட் இஸ் அ மசில் இன்சர்ஷன் வாட் ஆர் மொமெண்ட் ஆம் அண்ட் டார்க் and how change in the configuration or configuration can affect the momentum and further the force that needs to be produced by the muscle okay consider a couple of examples we were discussing the case of class 1 class 2 and class 3 livers in uh, daily life here are some examples of these types of livers in the human body so here in this case let's say the person is trying to extend the arm right this person is trying to extend like this okay the person is trying to extend like this or if i consider this to be two rigid bodies and let's say this is some theta he is trying to increase theta theta goes up he is trying to do that and that is achieved with the help of this muscle that is found on the back side on the posterior side of the upper arm this is called as the triceps muscle the axis of rotation in this case is the elbow joint but force is applied here okay at this point force is applied here and uh, the resistance that needs to be overcome so this angle will have to be increased na this angle will have to be increased so the resistance is acting in this direction so in this case the axis of rotation is between the force and the the resistance right this can be considered to be a simple example of a class 1 lever this is what we saw as class 1 lever then consider the force produced in the human ankle right when the person is trying to you know overcome this weight so the resistance is stuck between the force and the axis about which the rotation is happening when when you are trying to just lift up like this right when you are trying to do that when you are trying to lift up or rather that angle will be increased in this case the resistance is between the axis and the force this is an example of a class 2 lever then we have the class 3 lever in this case this resistance is pulling the arm down that is the weight that i am having that is pulling my arm down but i am trying to overcome that and keep it like this right in this case the muscle that is i'm doing that is the biceps muscle in this case the force is between the axis and the resistance this is an example of a class 3 lever these are just examples there are examples of all these three types in the human body now it might be useful for us to consider where a muscle is attaching in a bone and how is this affecting the mechanics of the function there are two points at which a muscle attaches these are two different bones usually it is assumed that the there is exactly one joint between these two bones but this is not always true that is there is hum- there is one bone here which i am going to call as humerus so this is the elbow joint again that i am considering this is the radius ulna which i am assuming to be a single bone in this case and 
here the muscle th that is under discussion is say for example the biceps muscle it attaches to the two bones humerus and the radius ulna for example right? it attaches the proximal point of attachment is called as origin for example what is origin that is proximal attachment what is insertion it is the point at which the muscle attaches on the distal segment okay that is called as the insertion so fundamental difference naming convention the proximal attachment is always called origin and the distal attachment is always called insertion from the torso this is again you know what is proximal and what is uh, distal is from the relative configuration so essentially i am using this with reference to the torso right so the biceps in, in insertion occurs very close to the elbow somewhere here for example the moment arm what is moment arm in mechanics moment arm is the perpendicular distance between the axis of rotation and the line of action of force okay so suppose this was the system under con under discussion and that is the axis of rotation suppose that is the line of action of force this is the moment okay now this raises the question oh from this it means that the moment arm is not always the same but so far we have been speaking about this as if it is always the same that is because we have assumed that the moment arm will remain the same throughout the motion and as we learn more we realize that this is not actually true and then we add more assumptions to our uh, analysis okay so the point at which the attachment happens and the configuration in all these configurations the elbow is at a 90 degree angle but this need not be the case as we will see in a future slide because depending on the configuration the line of action of force will shift depending on that the moment arm will change something to keep in mind torque will have to be overcome when a resistance is produced what is torque torque is something that produces a turning effect is very similar to moment that we described in the previous uh, cases but not exactly the same for the purpose of this lecture and this course we can assume these to be same for example so torque is something that produces a turning effect on the body and that is essentially a product of the force and the distance so depending on the torque that needs to be produced either the force will have to change or the distance will have to change so you can change the torque produced by e either changing the distance or by changing the force in some cases you can change the distance in some cases you cannot but force can of course be varied in almost all the cases let us consider some configurations that would change this right what happens when the insertion is close to the elbow in this case close to the axis so this is the line of action of force and this is the moment arm okay which i'm going to call as some r1 suppose that suppose the attachment or the insertion is happening farther away at that point that is the distance and that is the line of action of force and that is the moment arm which i'm going to call as r2 likewise suppose it is even farther away this is r3 and is even more away this is r4 you can visually look and check if r1 r2 r3 and r4 are equal are they equal the answer is no which is higher r4 is obviously the highest i'm looking at it. so depending on 
the point of insertion your moment arm will change. So, this can vary due to the point of insertion, but that is not the only thing that causes the change. Suppose I change the configuration like this. Now, in this case, the point of attachment at the proximal end and the point of attachment at the distal end do not change, but the configuration of the arm changes right and because moment arm is the perpendicular distance between the line of action of force and the axis obviously the moment arm will change as a function of the distances that you are looking at okay. so the moment arm goes through a range depending on which configuration you are i am at this configuration the moment arm is small then it becomes bigger 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 at some point it is going to become smaller so depending on that the force that you can produce to overcome a resistance changes so, again remember that the force is what is being controlled by the system, the force is produced by the muscle. The configuration, this theta is something that is that may be a desired function that may be you want to keep your arm at a particular configuration for example, right. Depending on the D will change. But the torque that needs to be overcome is a function of all this and the resistance that needs to be overcome. Right. So, from this what we realize is that there are two things that control the torque that will be produced by a muscle. One is the point of insertion, the other is the configuration of the joint. Of course, point of insertion is not changed so easily as uh, as I discussed in the previous slide, this is not something that happens really in physiology, but this does happen. The configuration change is something that happens all the time, something to note. So, with this we come to the end of this video. So, we saw some examples of uh, levers in the human musculoskeletal system and how muscle insertion point and uh, the moment arm and torque are related and how the angle of the flexion or extension or in other words the configuration affects moment arm and further the torque that is produced. Thank you very much for your attention.